Hi, this is Pam, PamelaGropi.com and FlowerPatchFarmhouse.com and this is a tutorial on these Indian paintbrush. I did this one on a faux wood background on an inexpensive 12 by 12 canvas, wrapped canvas. Uh, the last tutorial I did was these Texas Blue Bonnets. If you want to see that, go look it up on my YouTube or my website. And let's get started. This is pretty simple. Uh, here's one of my practice sheets. You can see that it, it's not uh, too difficult. Let me kind of zoom in, see if you can see that. And it's basically a lot of chisel strokes. If you want to learn more about the basic strokes I use in many of my painting tutorials, um, just go to my website. The colors on my palette paper here are Imperial Red, which is right there. This is multi-surface, uh, plaid folk art multi-surface Cardinal Red. They are very close on the palette, so um, I, don't, I might use a little bit of each. This is pure orange. I'll mix it into one of the reds a little bit or use it on its own for a highlight color. I do not highlight red with white because it just turns it pink. I use an orange or a yellow to highlight reds. And the two greens that I have here are Thicket and this is Fresh Cut Grass and any dark and lighter green will work. I like the two colors loaded on my brush to um, create interest, highlight, all that kind of stuff in a single stroke. Now I'm going to start by loading. This is a number 12 flat. This is a Donna Dewberry U Pro, but you can use the regular um, flat brush in the brush collection that I link to. I just happened to grab this one. I have several. Okay, I am going to position this where I can, if I have to do several, I've got, I can go across the paper. So let's make sure we're in focus. And I'm going to start on the chisel edge and I'm going to drag my brush up. I'm going to lead with the lighter and have the darker edge following. And then I'm going to just kind of put in some side stems just at various spots along the along the way. Let me zoom out just a touch so I make sure I'm always in the camera. But this These side stems have little pieces of red coming out of them. I, my uh, inspiration was a photograph I found on Google and I practice. Okay, now I am double loading. I didn't say double loading. I'm just loading with the red. They're so close that it doesn't really matter. Um, one may have a bit more blue in it. It looks like the cardinal may have a little more blue in it. I want to add a little yellow on one or yellow, a little orange on one side for highlight. I can, and I'm just going to have it well filled, but not all the way to the see. I've got plenty of paint in there, and I'm just going to touch on these areas. This might have a little bit more. One of them shows it pulling in at an angle. Hopefully I didn't get my hand in the way. I'm watching what I'm doing on my down here and not in the camera. And then up here, sometimes it doesn't go right on top. It goes alongside the stem. And then it kind of just does a, I call a flame. It's coming out here. Now I'm going to get just orange on my brush. I already, I have red still, but I added the orange to lighten it. And if those are kind of rounded on top, some of them I saw were spikier, so I would go that way, and you see how it provides a spikier end. 
and we'll let that dry there because I'm going to come back in with some green to go along here but this needs to dry a little bit more so we'll just try another one while that dries or we'll try some lower leaves how about that we'll see I'm double loading with the two greens again like I showed before make sure we're in the camera and these leaves are kind of fat and then went out skinny like this you see how I'm doing that The pictures I looked at, they didn't show a lot of the leaves, but they were kind of just along the edge like that. And some had more of these along the sides than um, others. So I guess it just depends on the one you're looking at. There's many variations. Again, I double loaded with the orange and the red just to give it a little more. And some are shorter, so we can do a shorter one here. Start with our stem. A little bit shorter one. See, I got too dry. I should have reloaded before I did that last one. I was getting lazy. I'm not going back to my palette to reload. I just go over it. Now we're just trying to get impressions. I say this a lot impressions of the flowers. There's nothing that is exact in my painting. I'm getting, uh, make it as easy as possible. Now some of these have just a touch, so I don't have a full stroke. They just had a touch of red on top of the little side shoot. And I'm loading up totally with red, and I'm just, well that was way overloaded. That's what's gonna happen if you're not paying attention to what's on your brush. But we're just gonna spread it out. And I'll do a little here, a little here, and then I'll drag in the, the stem to it. I didn't put enough green out, so I'm running out of green here. But that's okay. Now I'm going to see if this is dry enough up here to add the little stems on top. Now you might get red. Say I got red on my brush. I'm going to go wipe that off because I don't want to smear too much red in it. And because it wasn't dry enough, it didn't really stand out. So I'm going to come back and I'm going to go over that again later on when it's drier. And that is basically your Indian paintbrush. This one I'll go back over it with some green stems coming up. If I feel like it needs a little highlight, I can come in with some more orange. But always remember, it's easier to add more than it is to take away, so don't get crazy and uh, overdo it. Now this one is a practice piece I did earlier. You can see the different, the oranges, the leaves. And when you put them together with the lupins, they uh, make a really pretty design. And that is basically how to create Indian paintbrush. Let me zoom out. And you can add them to different wildflower paintings. You can do whatever you like.